In an effort to help combat the opioid crisis, a central Massachusetts town is suing the pharmaceutical industry. The town of Southbridge says it's part of a larger lawsuit, and town councilors say it comes when Southbridge is at a crisis level. Our Roslyn Flaherty joins us live now with more on the lawsuit. Roslyn? Olivia, town councilors say they were approached in the beginning of January to join the lawsuit. Monday, they voted yes to fix the problem. The town of Southbridge is joining cities and towns across the country in a lawsuit against the pharmaceutical industry. Counselors voted 7-0 to zero this week to hold three large companies accountable for the opioid crisis. Certainly we are at crisis level at times, um, all the time. Southbridge will file the suit through Massachusetts opioid litigation attorneys. The suit would seek damages which would go directly to the communities who sign on. Now I think we're, we're pointing um, our frustration in the right direction. Uh, at, at these folks that uh, have, um, in, in my opinion, from uh, what I've seen, misled uh, practitioners. Chairwoman Denise Clement says since 2012, 20 people have died of overdoses in Southbridge. The town reported seven deaths last year alone. Just recently, uh, a couple weeks ago, um, we had a weekend where we had 15 overdoses in one weekend, and two of them were the same person. The lawsuit is not costing the town any money. Counselors say if they do win, they want the money to go to a number of things, including education. I believe that if you educate the youth in the community on this, you're going to see a difference. Um, it's not going to happen overnight, though. Clemens says the lawsuit could take up to five years, and she would like to see other towns join to fix the problem. This isn't going away. If we don't do something today, will we be any better in five years if we wait and see what happens? Now, counselors also voted to, to ban recreational marijuana shops from opening up in Southbridge. Olivia. All right. Thank you, Rosalind.